up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. It's the Pro Bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. A play fake to Gurley, now gone. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Then he will finally be taken down, but how about that play? It's a big one on the final act of the third quarter. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. 76, 76. Now a first down throw, gone. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. On second and 10, gone. Out left, he's got it to Everett. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They come up in an offset eye. Now gone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Gerald Everett, a five-yard touchdown. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. Zerline now for the PAT. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 21 14. Zerline out now to kick this one away. Williams to return. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. So out now come the Cardinals. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. That goes for a gain of 31. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available 
and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Rosen will throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Samson Abukum not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. On second down, Rosen looking for Fitzgerald, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mark Barron, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot, and if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there, and sure enough, this one's going the other way. It's Gurley. And he's taken down inside the 30. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. inside the 30. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And thanks to the interception, the Rams offense cashes in for six. Zerline good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Shifts by him. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move gun, on first gun, down. Gun, gun. Rosen off the play action. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit. 
kick, but they'll say it's incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to need a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Again, it's Rosen. Completes it to Fitzgerald. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A really good pickup of 28 yards. On first down, it's Rosen, and it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. From the 21, it's second and 10. Second and ten, it's Rosen again. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. And now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. As they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a handoff for Gurley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now the Cards going to call another timeout. They're second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. Goff going to throw it. Wide open receiver complete. 
And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just...